Ford fans. What I'm going to show you now is my 61 Starliner. It's been a lifelong project for me. I wanted it ever since high school. Let's begin. We're going to walk around a little bit and show you the design of it. It's a very classic body style. They only made them two years. 60 and 61 with a slope roof. Okay, let's go around to the back. They're called Starliners because of these three items. Stars. <clears throat> this car uh, came from Georgia. I bought in 1990. It was in pretty good shape. The body was not too bad. The floors had their typical rust. The trunk had rust in it. So instead of uh, putting sheet metal in it with rivets, I wanted the original metal because of the, <clears throat> the sturdiness that keeps the body straight. The floors came from Idaho. That's the only place I could find the original sheet metal in good shape. I know black is not the greatest color for these cars, but I like black. Black is beautiful. And when you match it up with the red interior, you can't beat it. Speaking of the interior, it's not your stock Starliner material or the seats at all. The seats are out of a 64. And it took a little work to get them to fit in right, not too bad back seat especially uh, it included the Starliner dash is original we added the buckets we had the console we had the gauges we added the four speed this car came with a three speed on the column which most of them did except if you uh, ordered late in the year you could order a four speed and a tri power setup which was dealer installed it came in the trunk The upholstery come from Dearborn Classics, one of our favorite Ford catalog companies. They make a lot of it. Autocrafters is another one. We also added 64 XL door lights. I eliminated the armrest and I put a custom uh, set in. It just adds a little class to it. And one of the other features we did was power windows in the front. It is so nice. It makes it much easier <clears throat> to operate. Back windows are stock. We have future plans for AC. Uh, down the road a little piece. Alright, let's continue around. We get the full view. Bad things about these cars when they made them these emblems. Every time you take it to the dealer, of course they don't watch that closely. First thing you're gonna do is bend over the fender and snap these things off. So just in the last few years, companies have come out and remanufactured these. The metal is usually uh, the piece you'll have without the, uh, the plastic and the gold ball inside. Those are a made aftermarket. I added the hood ornament, which this car didn't have. It did have the bumperettes on the front. Those came with the car and they were either added later or maybe when they bought the car there was an item they put on. The bumpers were re-chromed. That's the original front bumper. Wheels are from Summit. They are their street lights. 15 inch, 7 inch on the front, 8 inch on the back. Alright, let's see what uh, makes this car move a little bit. Okay, it originally came with a 390, 300 horse which by the time I got the car it had already been changed out to a, just a generic 390. I drove it home from Georgia 
It was still drivable. What I added was a 428. And uh, the heads are your Edelbrock aluminums. A tunnel wedge intake with a dual quad setup. The carburetors are uh, factory 63 BJ BK carburetors. The headers are factory 427 cast iron. Okay, we added a uh, set of disc brakes on the front, which means you need to put in the dual master cylinder. Power steering didn't come in this car. We went to a uh, junkyard, found a 64 Mercury Marauder body with power steering. We took the whole unit, tie rods, the whole nine yards, bolts right on. Most of your 60s and 64 Galaxies were bolt on pieces. And that's about it as far as describing the car. Let's do a little crank up to see what it sounds like. Uh, also, we added a roller rocker, and it's a uh, solid roller cam in it, it's a 650 lift, and it has a little bit of lope to it, so let's listen and see what it sounds like. 